Last week, the worst nightmare of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse came true. Alibaba became a frontier AI lab with announcements made during their Apsara conference, which, if you've never heard of, is like the Super Bowl for shape-rotating Aspie comrades. With the announcement of a $52 billion three-phase roadmap, they've made one thing clear. They read the comments. Oh, and they're all in on the great race to artificial superintelligence. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at that roadmap, break down all of the new models they released, and show how their ultimate plan is to become the android of the AI era. It is October 3rd, 2025, and I hope you're ready to learn Chinese. As a teenage boy, I learned that the best things in life come in threes, and that's why I was revved up when I heard Alibaba announce their three-phase roadmap to ASI. The phase one is emergence of intelligence, where AI achieves generalized understanding by by stealing, I mean learning, vast amounts of human knowledge. This is where we were a few years ago. The phase two is autonomous action, where AI can learn to use the languages and tools humans do in order to offer some assistance. This is where we are today. And phase three is self-iteration, where AI can connect to the physical world and learn on its own. This is where we either all die or live in a gluttonous utopia, and Alibaba thinks we'll be there by 2032. I have my doubts, but they're shipping like they're addicted to creatine laced with Adderall, so it might come true. Their biggest release of the conference was Quen3 Max. The base model has over 1 trillion parameters and was pre-trained on 36 trillion tokens using its mixture of experts architecture. I know every time I mention a benchmark, an intern in the tenderloin gets mugged, but for being a non-thinking model, Quen3 Max Instruct scores pretty well well on the standard benchmarks, and there's a reasoning variant that's currently being trained that does as well. And the most impressive release of the week may be Quen 3 VL. Their vision language model, designed to process and understand visual input like images and videos, and it currently sits at the top of this new awesome benchmark, Clockbench. It turns out, just like Gen Z, current Frontier models struggle with reading an analog clock, but Quen 3 VL is now the tallest dwarf with 39% accuracy, and it gets bonus points for being as powerful as it is while being open source and open weight. And if vision and language aren't enough, they also released Quen 3 Omni, their multimodal model, which can see, hear, read, and talk, and that means it's now possible to create high-quality AI girlfriends that are free and open source. But before you go and do something foolish like that, you need to understand how this AI stuff works at a low level with Brilliant, the sponsor of today's video. A hard truth is that code is useless if you don't understand the math and computer science behind it. Brilliant helps you master these concepts with interactive lessons that you have to learn by doing, not just watching video lectures. I'd highly recommend taking their Thinking in Code course, where you'll learn how to think for from first principles like an experienced programmer. Most importantly, you'll develop critical thinking skills through problem solving, not just memorizing. Try Brilliant for free by visiting brilliant.org slash fireship or scan the QR code on screen to get 20% off a premium annual subscription, which gives you unlimited access to everything on Brilliant. This has been the Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.